Iowa State Stephen Leith named as new Auburn University president. The Auburn University Board of Trustees has selected Iowa State University President Stephen Leith as the successor to retiring Auburn President Jay Gog. The first thing I would like to say is War Eagle, Leah said, opening his comments. I could not be more humbled by this decision. Charles McCrary, an Auburn Board trustee and CEO of Alabama Power Co., chaired a nine-member search committee seeking a new president and introduced Leith on Monday morning during a special called meeting as the university's 19th president. It is apparent how student-focused you are. It is apparent how faculty-focused you are, McCrary said to Leith after taking a unanimous vote of approval from the board to appoint him. We look forward to your leadership. Leith whose career has included experience at land-grant universities similar to Auburn, has impressive credentials but is not without controversy. He drew scrutiny in recent months at Iowa State over his personal use of university-owned aircraft. However, Auburn officials were impressed with his education administration background and especially his familiarity with land-grant universities such as Auburn which must include agricultural-related research among its many programs. Among other stops with his previous experience was a prominent role as vice president of research at the University of North Carolina. Before becoming Iowa State president in 2012, Leith received a bachelor's degree in plant science from Pennsylvania State University a master's in plant science from the University of Delaware and a Ph.D. in plant pathology from the University of Illinois, according his official biography from Iowa State. Leith worked as an extension plant pathologist in Illinois for a year before moving to North Carolina State University as a plant pathologist with the USDA Agricultural Research Service in 1998. He worked in several research and teaching positions at North Carolina State before becoming vice president for research at the University of North Carolina in 2007, his only position at a non-land-grant university. Leith has published almost 100 scientific articles in his career, mainly on plant disease, pathology and breeding, according to his official Iowa State biography. To the trustees, I appreciate your trust and confidence, Leith said in the meeting after asked if he'd like to speak. To the university and community, he promised to make the best decisions for the university's welfare. I hope to turn it over to my successor better than I found it, as Dr. Gouge has done. Leith drew scrutiny in recent months at Iowa State over his personal use of university-owned aircraft. The local county prosecutor in Iowa declined to prosecute Leith in February after a six-week investigation conducted by the Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation determined there was no probable cause to substantiate the violation of Iowa law, according to the Des Moines Register. The investigation was started after an audit found Leith, who is a pilot, used university planes for medical appointments, personal flight training and trips to his home in North Carolina. Leith reimbursed Iowa State for the flights after the audit, according to the Des Moines Register. However, Auburn's board seemed willing to trust Leith and lean on his administrative success in hopes that his trend toward positive university accomplishments will continue at Auburn.